everybody, let's talk about fingerstyle guitar playing. So I love playing fingerstyle guitar. It's a style that I've always been fascinated with. Um, I use a thumb pick and I use just the pads of my right hand fingers so I don't use fingernails on my right hand. Um, I like the way that feels and sounds and it just works for me. Um, you know, just a few things off, off the bat. I think when playing fingerstyle guitar especially, your guitar has to be set up so that it's easy to play. Because if you're fighting the action of your guitar, um, you're gonna have, you know, you really, really struggle with the left hand getting all the notes to, to ring out clearly and smoothly, which is important. So uh, have your guitar set up well. You know, if, if, you, if you're struggling to play it right now, tune it down to E flat so you reduce the string tension and it'll make it a bit easier on yourself um, for, for now. Um, but, uh, you know, this, this is my signature guitar. It's a Mateson JR signature and, um, and I have it set up so it's very easy to play. It's got slightly bigger frets than, um, than most guitars and, uh, and I use fairly heavy strings. I use a 14 on top and a 53 on the bottom. It's a set of lights, a set of 12s. 12 to 53, you know, thereabouts, but with a, um, a 14 just on top because I like the higher, I like the, you know, a bit more tension on that high string. So I think the best way to learn fingerstyle guitar well is to have a good repertoire under your belt. So the first songs I recommend people check out. Um, you know, uh, Travis picking songs by the great Chet Atkins. Freight Train is a really good one. It sounds like this. I should correct myself. It's actually by Elizabeth Cotton who plays an incredible version. Um, but Chet's arrangement is, you know, the one a lot of, um, you know, fingerstyle guitarists play. And uh, Windy and Warm is another great one. I say learn songs is you want a piece with a melody you, you you know if you just learn kind of finger picking patterns you know that's really good if you're uh, if you're a real beginner but as you're starting to you know want to get more into playing fingerstyle guitar which to me means playing the guitar kind of like it's a piano so you're playing chords melodies rhythms you know grooves bass lines all you know on on the one set of six strings um, you really want to get into that style. I think learning some of those um, pieces really helps. And the thing is, the second song is easier than the first. The third song is easier than the second. And once you've learned, you know, 10 or so of those fingerstyle standards, it becomes much easier to play just about anything in this style. So that's the first thing. Um, second thing I'll say is practicing with a metronome is really, really um, a great thing to do. Because, you know, when you're trying to replicate, um, you know, almost the sound of a band on your guitar, you're trying to replicate the bass line and the, and the chords and the groove, you know, it becomes especially important to have a good pocket. And, um, you know, I always practice my songs with a metronome over and over and over again. Um, and I like to practice in front of a mirror as well. Because with a mirror, you get used to looking out at... Um, you know, not just looking down at your guitar, you get used to looking out, which, you know, becomes useful when you get on stage and you can actually look out at the audience and not be just so locked into staring at your hands. So um, I will practice in front of a mirror with my metronome and play my songs over and over and over and over and over again. 
And this, I find, is the best way to just train my muscle memory to play these pieces. And when you're learning, you know, the repertoire at first, it, it, it is difficult and it takes a long time just to get through even a bar of a, a song with a new technique. But stick with it and, um, you know, really visualize yourself playing that song well and, you know, take it bar by bar, eventually connect the bars. And, you know, once you have one song on the second song, and just work on getting that repertoire under your fingers. That, I think, is the most important thing with developing fingerstyle guitar playing. Um, so, a couple little exercises. Um, one is, you know, I call it the little finger roll technique, which is basically this. playing the top four strings of the guitar with the thumb pick, the first, middle and ring finger with this little smooth roll in motion. And um, I find, you know, that's a good thing to practice, but you know, an even better way to practice it is in the context of a song. So if you take like Freight Train, for example, if I play the first part of it just totally straight with no embellishments, it sounds like this. that is just by going just practice kind of that little rolling motion rolling into some of the melody notes of whatever song you're working on uh, dynamics I think are really important when playing finger style guitar I like to practice songs you know quite loud especially if I'm um, you know just trying to drill them into the muscle memory as I spoke about before so if I'm playing windy and warm for example if I play that quite loud, that's a good way to train the left hand to fret all the notes clearly and um, then try and play it as softly as you can but still have all the notes ringing out clearly. when we play softly for the left hand to let up and not fret the notes you know with the correct amount of pressure you want to use just enough pressure not too much and play with just this really relaxed you know um, in a really relaxed way so practicing the songs quite loud then bringing it down to really soft and then experimenting <laughs> Sending certain notes. Some important things. Um, I think uh, the best way I know to really get a song under your fingers is to perform it for somebody and um, you know it can even be making a video on your phone you know whenever I'm making videos I always go well I didn't know that song as well as I thought I did and I have to play it a few times to get it right more often than not. So um, 
you know, I've, I've had a lot of experience performing on stage, and that really trains you in ways that, you know, the practice room can't. So getting out and playing your songs in front of people, no matter who they are, um, is a good thing. That being said, it's been, um, you know, my friend Daniel Leverton, who's a great musician, songwriter, and uh, neuroscientist. He, he wrote, This Is Your Brain on Music, and I had the pleasure of interviewing him for my course, Joe's 12. He said to not play songs for your family because, you know, your family are used to viewing you through the lens of, of being, you know, a family member and not a performer. And they might kind of take some getting used to you being in performing mode, whether you're singing or playing or, or whatnot. So for whatever that's worth. Um, but, but I think getting out there and playing your songs for people is, is a really great great thing to do. Um, A general technique principle is to stay relaxed. The enemy of good technique is tension and if you're tensing up when you're practicing then that's really um, you know a sign that that you know you 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 really should pay attention to because that's gonna cause problems you know with your with your body as well as you know um, it's going to limit your playing. You won't get a really nice, smooth, even tone. If you're tense. So being really loose, I find, is very important. Um, a great way to arrange for finger style guitar is to use a lot of open strings. So if I'm playing um, like that kind of riff I just did then. That's kind of like a melodic minor scale for the most part. Instead of going incorporating some of the open strings there. So if you're working on an arrangement, you know, it's really nice to experiment finding a good key to play whatever melody and chords you're working on, and then find ways of incorporating some of the open strings into the arrangement. Um, so anyway, those are just some ideas that I hope will help with your fingerstyle guitar playing. If you want to learn um, fingerstyle guitar, if you want to learn Freight Train and Windy and Warm, for example, check out my True Fire channel, Guitar Synergy. The link is below, and um, and you know there's tab and and uh, and I and detailed you know three part video instruction where I describe how exactly to play the songs. So I recommend, you know, get, get getting the repertoire into your fingers um, first and foremost. Trying to stay relaxed, practicing with a metronome, practicing with a mirror, practicing loud and soft, and uh, using that little finger roll motion to get the kind of nuances to come out of the melody. And, uh, you know, have fun playing and making music. That's the most important thing. So let me know in the comments if this uh, video has been interesting and or helpful to you, or if you want me to ramble on about something else.